for an entire industry in a single stroke, director Robert Altman sent shivers through the fashion world when he first announced that he was going to use their profession as the subject of his newest movie, Pret a Porte, now being marketed for American moviegoers under the title of Ready to Wear. there be controversy? Uh, is, is oh no, I don't, I, I don't do exploitation films. I mean, I tell the truth as I see it. Okay, here we go. Okay, action, Betty. Using real fashion shows as a backdrop to his film, Altman and his cast of 38 big-name stars turned last spring's Collections Week in Paris into a giant paparazzi zoo. While most fashion types seemed flattered by the attention Hollywood was paying their industry, there was also a sense of fear that Altman would be portraying them as superficial idiots. A lot of people seem kind of frightened by it. What do you think of that? Oh, they're frightened of themselves. They're, they're, they, they must have something they think that they should be frightened about, but I, I don't know what it is. Turlington, so in a way, I think it's kind of and sad. And not many of us are going to look like you either, so. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a victim as well as a perpetrator of this, and I think it's not about what you put on your body. I think it's more about what you what you are on the inside. <laughs> I mean, this is I mean, exactly. I think it would have been very funny as a short skit. It was just way too long the way it came over. It didn't have the sharpness, but there were some very funny scenes. But I have one real big disappointment in the movie. Tracy Ullman didn't get my hairstyle right. Come on, get that Gaudier stuff what? off you. I'll never get it over my Philip Tracy hat. Oh, Philip no. Tracy, the Galway shawl. He's a genius. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be really excited to see all the fashion models and the parodies of the designers. They're not the real thing, but yeah. close to it. You're bored. Uh, Violetta. Yeah. I can't deal with this girl. Well, I'll get rid of her. Uh, Albertine. Albertine's the one I want. Why can't I have Albertine? Albertine is pregnant. The agency said she was pregnant. Pregnant is not my silhouette this season. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is not. It is not. It is not. My bulge is in the bustle out of the back, not in the bulge up front. Bald tattoo is not part of my vision. It's beyond a deja vu. I, I'm not taking it as seriously as a lot of people are who are real pissed off walking out of the theater. Yeah. Like I, a lot of people are really un upset. I yeah. think it was a real disaster and a real travesty. Oh, you're driving me insane. I'm acting like a, a three-year-old teenager, for God's sake. I'm the editor of a fashion magazine, and you're the photographer. But I'm American, and I'm so noisy, and you're so quiet. So goddamn Irish. I mean, you're like the quiet man. Oh, I don't know what to do. I want you to sign this contract, and I want you. So take me. Oh, God, what are you doing? Son of a bitch, get out of here. Stop it. Vivian! Vivian! <laughs> I think Robert Altman did a really good job. It was really good. You know, I thought it was fun, but I don't know that he necessarily got all the fashion editors right and some of the clothes. I think maybe a little better consulting would have helped. But it was fun. There's some really fun parts. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Um... I, I just, I hope that you can be a gentleman and that we can just say what happened last night never happened, okay? Sure, no problem. No problem, really. Yeah, whatever you want. Just forgotten like that. It's so easy. Yeah. That's great. What? What?
What, am I supposed to be crushed or something? No, 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 this is, this is great. This is just great, you know? Yeah, that's great. Oh, come on, don't change your channel. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on, give me back the channel changer. You know, I wish I could have Julia Roberts' life being paid a journalist's salary and spending all my time in bed. But a lot of it was very true to life. A lot of it was very funny and very sharp. But just as the whole movie, it didn't work for me. I didn't really feel it had the pace. And I think a lot of the insider's jokes will be really tough for the general public to understand. And how do you think it will affect all the fashion world? How do you think they'll... Not at all. Well, I hope they laugh at it. I hope they think it's pretty soon. But it's not going to... It's, it's, uh, just, it's just a movie. How have you managed to stay on top of everything? Probably the same way you have, Kitty. Taking advantage of other people's insecurities.